Oh no! I am now wearing blue and I got it all over my wall. Hey everybody, looks into Swirl here. New day, new cup project. This is gonna be something of a, a Franken cup because I'm taking a suggestion and uh, another suggestion or a comment and then a thought I had and putting them all together on a cup. So goodness only knows how this is gonna turn out, but the suggestion, the first suggestion was, I believe very recently in the January Mr. Nola's Glitters Wanderlust box, when I used this black hollow metallic glitter called Jetem from that box on a cup, I had commented that this would also be great for Halloween and you know, to heck with all that lovey-dovey stuff from Valentine's Day. And somebody wanted to see something along those lines. Swamper 60 has twigged me to the fact that there are new T-Rex inks out now. They have a new shimmer line. So I got my little grubby paws on it and we are going to use some of these T-Rex alcohol inks. And then on top of that, well, we'll see. <laughs> Because, you know, the, the idea I have in my mind's eye is something I've never tried before. It's not that I haven't seen anybody else do it. I just can't think of anybody who did it recently that I, I can remember and point you towards. So I have no idea how it will turn out. We're just going to give it a go and see what happens. I'm going to start by putting this 30 ounce skinny straight onto my 6 RPM turner. So this is a medium spin, medium speed turner. And I am going to use just some of these inks. I'm going to pick, let's see, Quantum Cobalt, Plasma Purple, and Red Alert. Shields up for you Trek fans out there. And that's it for that one. I am going to include my brass accents and we are going to do an alcohol ink, the beginning of the waterfall method where I put the inks on and I don't use heat on them. I just let them dry however they want to. That's how we're going to start this cup. So I'm going to turn my turner on. I'm going to flood the cup with some 91% isopropyl alcohol from Walmart. That gives these inks something to flow in because there's no resin on here this is just matte white spray paint flood the cup the inks are going to travel around in this layer of plain old isopropyl alcohol and settle wherever they want to and then dry as the turner spins so red alert shields up who was the character that said that the most often in all the tracks. Red alert, shields up. I know you Trekkies know. Okay. Plasma purple. I'm not sure what plasma has to do with anything, but it, it's a P word, I guess. Plasma purple. And then quantum cobalt. Boy, that red went everywhere, didn't it? I'm not crazy about that. Whoa, Nelly! The yeah, probably should have had gloves on. <laughs> oh, too late now. <laughs> I have Smurf fingers. All right, let's see if we can counteract the red a little bit up here. I don't. That's just way too much red. That's what I get for starting with it. Oh, mother of pearl. Here we go. This will be interesting. However it turns out, it will definitely be interesting. Somehow I thought the red would be deeper than it is. It's it's kind of orangey. That's all right. We're gonna go with it. Brass accents. This is pinata brass, diluted an extra fifty percent with um, plain alcohol, clear alcohol. It could end up being quite pretty. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to let this turn and we'll come back when it's all dry. So stay tuned.
Hey, we're back. So this is dried and it's ready to get resin on it. And this is where I'm going to go Franken cup because I don't know how this is going to look. I'm going to put some of this Jetem. It's a mix of fine, hollow, and metallic black into the resin. And I'm going to smear it on here. I'm not striving to cover this up because that would just defeat the purpose of what we just did by making this, which I think actually turned out way more beautiful than I thought it was going to when I started on it. I certainly don't want to cover it up. Uh, I know if we put white glitter on here, especially an opalescent white, the colors will stay and it will just become sparkly. But I want to give it, I want to give it a black overtone, I think. This is the part I don't know. I don't know how it's going to look. It may look completely different from, you know, what's in my mind's eye, which is how a lot of my projects go. So I'm going to put a little bit into the resin. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to see how it looks and we'll just, we'll see what we get because I really don't know what to expect. I could also do this with a chunky, but I specifically wanted to try the Jetem. It's an experiment. If it goes horribly wrong, we can we can just say it never happened. <laughs> so I'm going to gear up and all that, sit back, hopefully enjoy the show. there folks. I love how this cup turned out. I'm I'm not going to assume that it's everybody's cup of tea. I will get you a close up in a second, but we have very limited sunshine right now and I wanted you to see that it really does have a gorgeous hollow sparkle in the sun. Hopefully that's going to show. I'm going to try and zoom in. Isn't that pretty? I mean, I just I Yeah, I'm not sure the black I'm, I'm torn. Honestly, I'm very torn. I am going to put decals on this. I'm going to finish this cup. I, I love it enough to keep going. Uh, whether the black sparkles, even with the beautiful holographics, are everybody's cup of tea. I think they look spectacular down here. I'm not 100% sure about up here. But, again, that sparkle, man. I just love that. So I want you to see what it looks like in the sunshine. And now I'm going to relocate the camera, turn off the turner, and apply some graphics. Let's see. What, what areas should we try and cover up? What, what could be improved by being covered up? How about that one? I'm going to continue on with the Valentine's theme just because that's, that's what's coming up first. And the person who suggested trying the Jetem on a darker type of cup, not darker in shade, but darker in soul, anti-Valentine's Day. So I went and got these graphics from favorite artists of mine. This is a Ouija box of chocolates. It has moon phases. It has a knife with dripping blood. It has a torn heart. And it says, K, thanks, bye. And then there's a coffin. So that's, that's pretty dark. I love it. So that goes there. This is my favorite Nito brand printable vinyl. And then on the other side, we have another favorite graphic from another favorite artist on Etsy. I will link to everything below. I had to put an offset on this one because there's some very thin curly cues and I knew they wouldn't cut well. So, so there's an offset around this one just to make it easier for the Cricut to cut. Have to weed bits of it out, but we can do that. Okay. Not too bad. Not, not too shabby, not too much damage. <laughs> Yay. 
All right, so we have our little guy here and we have our Ouija board here. So this is gonna get um, UV resin over the printable vinyl that will tack everything down. Make sure it doesn't lift when I put the final layer of epoxy resin on. I will probably put rainbow into it just so I get sparkle on top of the graphics. I'll try and get you a good ending shot. So stay tuned.